Why do I troll? I troll because it's the quickest way to eliminate water and arrive at the fish. All right, I want to show you a picture of a brake line that I'm working right now. And I'm going to go off of it perpendicular from the shallows to the deep. And I'm going to make a reverse pass so you can see it in the opposite direction. So I'm in deep water going shallow. So that's how I find the brake line. I'm looking for an increase or a decrease in depth. If I start in the shallows, I'm looking for the brake line where all of a sudden it gets deeper. If I start in deep water, I'm looking for an increase in depth. You can start in the shallows and go deep, head out into the middle of the lake or head out into what you expect to be deep water and look for a rapid increase in depth. Or if you're in deep water, you can head toward the shoreline. Where does it all of a sudden decrease in depth? All right, but I'm looking for an actual thing that I can see where I can see that it gets deeper, suddenly, where it gets shallower, suddenly. And when I fish a brake line, I want to fish the top of the brake line and the bottom of the brake line, if it's accessible, all right? Sometimes I'm on top and sometimes I'm just off on top and just off. If the top of the brake line, in this case, is seven feet, okay, I want to be at seven feet, maybe six feet, and then I want to see it drop seven feet, ten feet. Okay, seven feet, six feet, seven feet, ten feet, seven feet, eight feet. Right? Now, the brake lines are not uniform. Along the brake line, you may find out it gets shallower. Or along the brake line, you may find it gets deeper. But whatever it is, I want to keep close to that brake. That brake. Where does it start to get deeper? Where does it start to get shallower? I want to keep right on that. So I'm constantly maneuvering the boat. I'm not swinging the boat wildly. I'm moving it subtly. Sometimes it's a little shallower, sometimes it's a little deeper. Okay, that way I make sure that I'm not on a flat. On top and then off. On top and then off. That's how you work a brake line. Fish. Yeah. Nice striper.
There's another one. Oh, Lord. So the stripers and the bass are mixed in. Nice fish. Nice fish. Another bass. Open the snap. Shoot. Yeah, they're up on top here. Bass. How's that for a nice bass?
nice bass. So that's basically it today, a uh, demonstration of trolling uh, a brake line. Uh, and again, I'm trying to be right on that brake line, sometimes just inside of it, the shallow side, and sometimes I want to be a little bit deeper, on the deeper side of that. So sometimes shallower, sometimes deeper, sometimes shallower, sometimes deeper. You're going to have to make adjustments. If it's always the same depth, you're on a flat. You want to see that depth finder get a little bit shallower, then a little bit deeper. A little bit shallower, a little bit deeper. So that's the essence of trolling. Um, it can be difficult, but it is rewarding. You'll catch more fish than you ever believed possible. So. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, thank you, Buck Perry.